Well, hello and how are you? Hey, friends, welcome to the Shen Show. This is your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you live right here in St. Charles, Missouri. I tell you what, we had a blast last night. Boy, I'm telling you, it was fun. That being said, let me get right down to the situation at hand first. Today is June, uh, Sunday, June the 12th. 2016 vlog number 485 now first off we got a birthday going out to keith van ganip one of my high school friends so happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear keith happy birthday to you all right keith happy birthday and have a good one all right hey well sorry i'm getting this out to you so late my uh roommate's uh grandson great grandson was on the computer all morning so he that's his treat after going to church he'll she'll bring him over here and i back out of the uh back off the computer for a little while give him a little chance to mess around you know playing some games and stuff don't get a lot of opportunity to do it at home so he go, he comes over here, and you know how grandmas are. They just spoil the heck out of them. Well, anyway, boy, I tell you what. If you checked out my Facebook page, Shenandoah, uh, Shenandoah Briscoe, or over on um, my new page that was set up by my son in well, soon-to-be son Well, if I've got anything to do with it, soon-to-be son-in-law, Dan set up for me. Um the shen show well you just jump over there and you can uh um check out the videos i was dancing last night some of them more actional than others um i was I, surprised i sung almost every song that band played i knew all but about five of them and uh if i'd have known if i'd have only known that was the type of music they were going to be playing I'd have sure would have been singing them for you so that y'all could get an idea of what they were playing. Well, one of them you know all the time. I always do uh, My Girl, and that one was one of them. And then I did have a request, and that was Tequila. So you know how that one goes. Tequila. So anyway, hey, that was good. Tell you what, the bartender hostess Kathy, she uh she made all kinds of things. She made the whole the whole show great for me because well, just being there. She is a fine girl. So I told you, Kathy, I was gonna make mention of you. So there it is, girl. And then uh uh the band members. I tell you what uh. And that's one of those things. I had mentioned the band to my uh, pastor, uh, Vince Arter. Well, he um, he uh, uh, um, I mentioned the band name, but I did not mention any of the people in the band. And then there was something else that turned around too that was really, really uh, um, exciting for him that he that he'll be able to know but um uh, first off the uh, um one of the head guys up there on the um the band guys um coordinators um i just happened to mention uh vince arter to him and he says vince arter and the high tops oh i remember them and then i said well he's my pastor well that led on into a few other things but anyway members of the band were dave hillstead mike garrett kevin Ru uh rusher carrie underwood bill lee Hab, no yeah lee lab uh mark ward john evans uh hey that's not all of them uh cecil gore Jimmy Gore, Bob Barrett, uh, Andy Anderson, Tom Pallardy, Dave Hill, uh, Hillstead, and 
And so, hey, you know, all these folks were out there. And as soon as I mentioned Vance, boy, Andy, he jumped up and said, hey, you know, Tom uh, Pallardy, he knows him. And Dave Hillstead knows him. And then, <laughs> dropping all that, uh, they had some pizza over there to uh last night which normally they don't have food provided but this time they had a pizza by the slice from a place called fat tony's well i rolled over at the end of the program after talking to andy anderson one of the um original members of the uh, um group was named uh, bill dennis well i rolled over there because Bill was standing over there next to Fat Tony. And I rolled over there and I said, Hey, um, I said, Hey, uh, 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 Dennis, uh, Andy tells me that, uh, you know, my pastor. He says, Pastor. And I said, Yep. You ever heard of a guy named, no, he, I said, tells me that you uh, took lessons from my pastor. And he says, the only person he could think of that came to mind was Vince Arder. He says, Vince Arder? And I said, yep, yeah, that's right. He's my pastor. And he says, he's a pa Oh, And then Tony says, he's a pastor? Anyway, they were just all excited. Lights went off for for my pastor Vance Arter over there and I said you know we have some great warships I tell you that much and they were like boy we're going to have to drop in on him sometime so hey Vince you just be looking for uh, drop ins from some old chums someday because hey they were really talking about you and Gary and and uh, that was uh, Bill was talking about that and the, the deal with Bill and Frank's heroes, the deal is that Bill uh, Dennison uh, set that up for his father in in uh, to uh, um, honor his father Frank Dennis. So that's how that whole story came up. So Bill was basically the uh, originator of the uh, plan. So I must have neglected to tell you all about that. So, hey, I'll end up forwarding this one over to you on the uh, uh, Facebook. I mean, on your uh, uh, email. So, but yeah, you might recognize some of those names in the band. And, uh, well, by golly, I hope they bring back as good of memories as for you as they did for those guys. Because... Boy, 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 they really, wait a minute, I'm starting to lose it. They were really impressed that, uh, with you and the high tops. So, anyway, that being said, um, they were talking about you and Joanne and your dad and your mom and Gary and, how the uh, whole band got put together and how your mom was pretty much the uh, um, produce, producer and and uh, she was your uh, front front runner and made sure that everything was set up for you I mean you know it was a uh, it was all kinds of kudos for you and I'm I'm just glad to know that uh, that they remembered you so fondly so anyway, that being said, I'm not going to go on with that because I'm going to start tearing up. I don't know if you will or not, but I will, and uh, I've got to quit. <laughs> All right, but I will sing a couple of their songs from last night because I finally got a lineup of the sort of songs they sang. Oh, I also need to remind you guys, by the way, because they uh, asked about Butch Wax and... Uh, the Hollywoods, um, so I need to bring up that information for you too. Hold on just a second. All right, all right. Music on Maine. It's um, every uh, Wednesday, every third Wednesday of the month, May through September. 
from 5 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. in the 100-200 block of North Main Street. Bring your lawn chairs uh, to the, the free outdoor concert. Food and drink is available to purchase. Music by, uh, well, first first up, we're going to have a uh, Wednesday, June 15th, uh, which is coming up in just a couple days here. Uh, they're going to have uh, Serapi, Serapis, 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 Serapis. That's them. They're going to have Serapis down there. And uh, so you might want to catch that. And then Wednesday, July 20th, um, same place, 100 block uh between the 100 and the 200 block of uh, North Main Street from 5 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Silver Bullet, which is a tribute to Bob Seger, not to be confused with the Silver Bullet Band, but they are Silver Bullet, and they are a tribute to Bob Seger. And then uh, Wednesday, August 17th, you're going to have the Trip Daddies, and uh they'll be down there from seven or from five PM to seven thirty PM. And then on Wednesday, September seventeenth, the ones that they were mentioning at the uh um concert last night was Butchwax and the Hollywoods. They'll be down there at the last one of the season on Wednesday, September seventeenth, twenty sixteen, five PM. But I'm pretty sure that uh, if they like book twacks and they like that concert we were at last night, they're going to like Serapis. Because Serapis. Anyway, whichever it is, they're going to like it on account. Um, it was Apparently, it's the same type of music. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to jump off of that and get off of that page because it's flaring me up I, I'm I'm getting all uh, excited and everything uh, let's see where am I at here let's just get rid of that all together 12 minutes into it uh, I got me a phone call so I'm going to have to back out for another time alrighty hey it looks about like it's that time to go to our part of the program called the daily bread well our daily bread which I read to you daily so there you go uh today's devotional is uh chapter tears and laughter uh as you well know i cannot read the um whole thing because of the um conflict of um what are them things when somebody writes something and you're trying to swipe it uh copyright laws there you go Anyway, here's a synopsis. There was this gal, she went on a retreat, and she had gotten to uh, visit with some old friends that she had, hadn't seen in years, and they all got together, and they were laughing, and they were carrying on, and they were um, crying because they were so happy, and and different things like that. And, well, on the last day of their um uh, uh, what did I say the thing was? Uh, last day of their, uh, retreat, they, uh, um, had said the Lord's Prayer, and then they, they again, with the laughter and the crying. So, anyway, we're going to be reading Ezariah, uh, Ezra 3, 7 through 13, and if you're keeping up with your Bible in the year, you'll be reading Ezra five through three no three through five and john 20 so isn't that funny how that worked out again not only did for are we going to read the verse today but it's also going to be included in your uh, bible in the year section so anyway here we go with ezra three seven through thirteen then they gave money to the masons and the carpenters and gave food and drink and olive oil to the people in Sidon and Tyre so that they would begin they would bring cedar logs by sea from Lebanon and uh, to Joppa as authorized by Sirius king of Persia 
In the second month of the second year after their arrival at the house of God in Jerusalem, Zerubbabel, son of Shelatil, Joshua, son of Josedek, and the rest of the people, the priests and the Levites and the Levites and all who had returned from the captivity of Jerusalem, began to work. They appointed Levite, Levites twenty years old and older to supervise the building of the house of the Lord. Joshua and his sons and brothers and Cadmiel and his sons descendants of Hadava and the sons of Hanadad and their sons and brothers all Levites joined together in supervising those working in on the house of God when the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord the priests and their vestments and with trumpets and the Levites and and the sons of Asaph with symbols took their places to praise the Lord as prescribed by David king of Israel with praise and thank, thanksgiving they sang t to the Lord he is good he is loved toward Israel endures forevermore okay <clears throat> his love towards Israel endures forevermore all right and all the people gave a great shout of praise to the Lord because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid but many of the older priests and Levites and family heads who had seen the former temple oh there we go wept aloud when they saw the foundation of this temple being laid while many others shouted for joy no one could distinguish the sounds of the shouts of joy from the sounds of weeping because the people made so much noise and the sounds was heard far away there you have it boy I struggled through it but I got it out there that there's Ezariah 3 17 through 13 alrighty it looks like it's about that time so Goodbye, my friends, it's time to go. I said goodbye, my friends, it's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. This is Shenandoah saying hello, Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello, and how are you? You know, God loves you, and so do I. So... Be blessed in Jesus' name. Thanks for tuning in to the Shen Show and come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope you are too.